Je vais à présent lire le dispositif tel qu'il est contenu. Let me therefore read the decision of the court. For all these reasons, the court unanimously issues a reparations order in the case of Mr. Katanga. The chamber finds that 297 and 300, out of the 341 applicants met the standard of the most uh, on the balance of probabilities of being victims of the crimes for which Mr. Katanga was found guilty. The chamber therefore decides that 297 victims should benefit from reparations in the present case. The chamber has assessed the scope of the prejudice suffered by the 297 victims at $3,752,620. The chamber sets the amount to be contributed by Mr. Katanga towards the reparations at $1 million. The chamber declares that Mr. Katanga is still indigent even in this in regard to reparations. The chamber orders individual reparations to the symbolic amount of $250 and collective reparations targeted for the benefits of, of each victim uh, by way of help in accommodation, support in income generating activities, education and psychological support. The chamber orders the fund to prepare a project to be implemented mindful of the decision of the court which should be submitted by the 27th of June 2017 at the latest and which should contain the details of the program it intends to implement. The chamber orders the legal representatives and defense to submit observations on the project by the 28th of July 2017 at the latest. The chamber orders defense to contact the fund with a view to discussing the contribution that Mr. Kwatanga could make to the reparations if he wishes to do so. The chamber orders the fund to contact the Democratic Republic of the Congo and seek possible collaboration in the accomplishment and implementation of the reparations. The chamber orders the presidency with the assistance of the registry to continually monitor the financial situation of Mr. Katanga pursuant to uh, rule 117 of the regulations of the court. The chamber orders, mindful of the financial situation of Mr. Katanga, orders the board to indicate whether it is in a position to use all the resources with a view to meeting the reparations both individual and collective, and to inform the chamber accordingly. The chamber invites the phone to bear into account within the context of its mandate uh, whenever possible various uh, applications that may subsequently arise, particularly in relation to sexual violence, as the case may be. The chamber orders the registry to take all necessary measures to publish this reparation order. I'll conclude simply by thanking the parties for their contribution and the quality of their work. I also want to thank my two colleagues, Judge Oliver Olga Herrera Carbuccia and Judge Peter Kovac for their commitment and collegial work which made it possible for us to unanimously come issue this uh, ordinance. Our legal assistants, our interns, uh, present and past, put in significant work to this effort and we want to thank them. We also want to thank the Trust Fund for Victims and all those who participated in the proper unfolding of these reparations procedures. The court officers, staff from various sections of the registry, interpreters, translators, stenographers, audiovisual technicians, security officers, as well as our colleagues from the IT department and the general services of the court. The chamber underscores that without the contribution of all the persons I've mentioned, and I hope I didn't leave out any, 
these proceedings would not have unfolded hatefully and with such success.